short presentation on how to convert your PowerPoint presentation into an iPod video movie. The steps, as I see them, are just finding out what software you need, finding out the hardware, review your PowerPoint slides, prepare your script, record your presentation, and convert the recordings to iPod video, and then just distribute the file to the students. I'll go through each of these steps in a little bit more detail. The software required, ideally, Windows XP operating system, uh, Office 2003, uh, Camtasia, this is used for recording a presentation, and then finally a free piece of software to convert uh, the video into a file that's compatible with the iPod video. The hardware requirements are very, very small. A reasonable microphone, not very expensive. At most, maybe 30 euro, and that's compatible with the microphone input on the PC. Um, you just need to go through your slides and reduce the number of points in each slide to no more than six, because it's important that you realize that the screen on the iPod video is very small, and any graphics you have should be big so that it could be visible on the iPod video screen. Um, you have to produce some what to say with your slides. So you just need to go through your slides and prepare a script that talks about the slide as you go along. Um, Camtasia Producer is used to record the presentation, so you need to get familiar with it, how to use it, particularly how to start and stop the recording. And you know, try it a few times and see how it, go how it goes. Um, record your presentation and remember where you save it when you're finished. And finally, you need to convert the recording that you get from Camtasia, which is an AVI file, into a file that's compatible with the iPad video. So we use this package called Free iPad Video Converter. It's very straightforward. You launch the program, you find the AVI file that's easier recording, you select it, you click on Convert, and you give your resulting file a, a name, and that's it, you're done. And finally, you need to make it available to your students. Um, it probably can be loaded up onto servers or burned onto CDs and handed to the students. That's it. If you have any questions, give me a shout.